Aloha, Western Montana. I'm Martin Kidston, and this is the 406, the Missoulians' weekday webcast. Here are the top headlines at this hour. Glacier National Park seen it going to the Sun Road open Wednesday evening, but traffic all over, over Logan Pass was soon delayed. After three months of plowing operations, an 800-pound boulder and a large pile of snow fell on the road about one and a half miles west of the pass. Crews had the road cleared again early Thursday morning. State investigators have joined the search for a Butte woman who left an Anaconda hospital after giving birth to her son while under the influence of methamphetamine. A judge has issued a warrant for Michelle Renee Yallop, who gave birth to her son on June 18th, and the State Division of Criminal Investigation is now assisting local police. Canadian mining company Tentina Resources has purchased 40 mining claims totaling about 800 acres close to its proposed mine on a tributary of the Smith River. And Tentina Vice President says the company bought the claims to control mining activity in the area and hasn't explored whether they are viable. The victim of a fatal crash earlier this week on Schwartz Creek Road near Clinton has been identified. 61-year-old Robert Edward Lambert of Missoula died when his pickup went off the shoulder of the road. He tried to back up and rolled down the embankment. Towns around western Montana will be celebrating the 4th of July with pancake breakfast, parades, fireworks, and more. Check our complete list of Independence Day events from the Bitterroot to the Flathead. Have a great evening, western Montana. Check back with us on Missoulian.com for updates and breaking news. And pick up a copy of Friday morning's print edition of the Missoulian for the most complete local news coverage in western Montana. I'm Martin Kidston, and that's the 406 for Thursday, July 3rd, 2014.